Uh, do you describe yourself as a structured writer with a specific approach to your craft, or a free spirit, or again, a little of both? Am I a structured writer or a free spirit? Uh, we, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, I do consider myself a little of both, and this, this brings to mind another little thing in, in my personal history. Uh, I didn't do much in school. My, I, I, you know, here's my education. I have a ninth grade education, an Army GED, and some community college. But I tend to absorb whatever interests me. In eighth grade, my English teacher came up to me and said, "Excuse me, but I'm not going to be like the other teachers and let you just draw on the back of your test papers. I want to teach you something." And he made me learn English. He made me write a poem for the, the school paper and uh, he just taught me so much. I never really got a chance to thank him, but it made a difference. But here's the one thing that stuck in my mind is early on I said, well, you know, E.E. E. Cummings and Jack Kerouac, they don't use punctuation, they don't capitalize. He says, it's okay to break the rules, but first you have to know what the rules are. And that is true in songwriting. Uh, sold, the whole chorus runs by, structure-wise, before you get to, I'm sold on Lady in the Second Row. Why? We couldn't fit it in. And so we had to write it that way, and it ended up being a, like a sub-hook. Uh, so some of the best things uh, break the rules. A song should have a big hook. The rose. <laughs> if, you know, it doesn't come until the last two words of the song. Oh, and song should be something uh, universal that everybody will love. You know, how would you like pitching an A&R person this song? Go, I got a great song. It's a four and a half minute waltz about an underage girl who loses her virginity. Great. Strawberry wine. So, breaking the rules is fine, but you should know what the rules are, and, and that's what I tend to do. Thank you.